Coming into the 2016 season, you know, we felt strongly that the defensive line would be the strength of our defense and would be the strength of our team, and this certainly didn't disappoint. Defensively, we had an opportunity to win every game. Uh, we played real strong defense. We didn't allow a lot of points, and I think it was the defensive line that was sort of the focal point for that. You know, guys like James DeBerg, Doug Webb, Langston Ward, and Miles McCollum, week in, week out, uh, they were some of the best players on the field and, and gave us an opportunity to compete and win. Replacing the offense uh, and all the firepower and the really outstanding plays we had a year ago was going to be challenging. To lose four NFL players, seven starters, and the Ivy League player of the year at quarterback uh, was definitely challenging and it took us a while. I thought our kids did a good job. Um, you know, we didn't always score as many points as we would have wished to, but we gave ourselves an opportunity every week. And guys like left tackle Max Rich, who had a tremendous season, uh, Anthony Ferkser, who was, again, one of our great tight end H-backs in Harvard football history and one of the best receivers in the league. Uh, Justice Shelton Mosley, same thing. Our senior class in, uh, in 2016 was outstanding. And while we didn't have probably as many high profile players as in years past. You look at their legacy and it's pretty amazing. It's, I think it's a legacy that anybody would, uh, would love to have. Uh, 33 and five, three Ivy championships, a second place finish. And more importantly, just a great group of kids. Um, Sean Ahern's a great example. Here's a kid who is coming off first team all Ivy season as a junior, um, has a tough injury, not able to play the last half of the season. Uh, but continues to do a great job leading and motivating our football team. And I think that was, that was the greatest thing about this class. Um, uh, outstanding football players, uh, but really special bunch of kids. And we had a really good season, really proud of our kids, really proud of our coaches. But I think when you come so close in those final two games, uh, it, it, certainly, uh, it certainly leaves a little bit of a sting and, and it certainly gives us a lot of motivation for the offseason. To have won a minimum of 70% of our games for 16 straight years is definitely a source of immense pride for everybody in the Harvard football program, everybody in the Harvard football community. Uh, it's just really challenging to do, to be that consistent. And obviously there's a lot of players, a lot of teams, a lot of coaches that go into that dating back to the turn of the century. Uh, but when you consider that the next longest streak in Ivy League history is only six years, I think it, it uh, shows how challenging it is.